praising Him. Ex enjoy exalting His name. Because as you do it, I promise you, there are demonic powers that will hear it. Because that's what happens when God's revelation is present. That's what happens when God's truth is present. When we are declaring His name with such passion and faith, powers of darkness begin to tremble. And that's what's happening now. Whatever your need is at this time, lay it aside. If you have fears, if you have broken relationships, if you have sickness that you're struggling with, for one minute, don't focus on that today. For just a few minutes, focus on the power of Jesus. Because I'll tell you why. Anything is possible. Nothing is impossible. Now I want you to join us as we begin to worship the Lord with that. He has much to say today, I promise you. I want you to sing with a yes, I believe. Because nothing is impossible. Today, God wants to receive your praise, your adoration, but also your faith. Nothing pleases God more than your faith. Hannah's going to sing that again, but I want you to join her. I feel the need for participation, not for standing one side and listening and looking. God is sharing truth with us, but He desires for each one of you, every person watching, to draw near and together to worship Him. But what God is looking for is faith. You know, I was reading earlier about prophetic spiritual warfare. We are conducting that right now. When the King of Israel was faced with the danger of the Syrian army coming against him, instead of going out to fight an unnecessary war, what he did was, he heard the voice of a prophet. That prophet was Elijah. Elisha. Elisha told him the exact whereabouts and what the plans were from the Syrian army. And I was reading that, you know, this whole week I've been in prayer. <coughs> and the Spirit of the Lord began to tell me, it is impossible for the nations to conduct this kind of warfare without prophetic insight and wisdom. And so as he said those words to me, he said, he told me, he said, I am preparing the world, the nations of the world. I am preparing them for the prophets. Now you may say, well, there are plenty of prophets around. I want you to know that God is preparing the nations of the world for true prophets of God. Not prophets that will prophesy the judgments that we continually hear about. God judging our nation, and God, put me in the house, please. God judging America. We've heard that. Judgments will come and go. But what about the blessing of God that I have spoken about so many times? God told me that it is time for true prophets to arise and offer an intelligence that there is, is not available by the Secret Service, by the CIA, by MI5, 6 or 7. I want you to know it is not available. God is bringing to the four true prophets that will show the exact whereabouts. It's happened with me. Yeah, I saw this. I even saw a person arising out of ISIS and prophesied it years ago that would have one eye that would be blinded. But actually underneath all of that, he became a believer. It is my firm belief as I address you today and I will prophesy it to the kings of the earth. That God has purposed to raise out of this horrific movement of terrorism and hatred. Strong believers that will proclaim the name of Yeshua. If you truly believe that, say yes. As I was reading the scripture and, and the, the whole story is fascinating. About Elisha going to the king and telling him and saying to him, this is where they're going to be. This is what they planned to be until it frustrated the Syrian army kings. It frustrated the general and the president of the Syrian army. And they said, why is it? There must be spies amongst us. And they said, no, Lord, there is a prophet that tells the king exactly where we are, exactly what you're about to do. And he avoids the warfare. I believe that that kind of prophetic utterance and intelligence is becoming available to the kings of the earth that would believe it. You may say that may never happen. Oh, yes, it will. And especially to the nations that, that will cry out to the name of God. I read the story and what happened was when they found out that the prophet was telling the king 
the entire army came and surrounded the prophet. When I was in my garden the other day, I felt the presence of enemies surrounding me. I felt the presence of so much pressure. As God said to me, they have heard about the truth that I have given to you that you have not as yet released yet. That you have not as yet given. They know it is in you and wish to stop you. As I did that, I remembered what happened to Elisha. And I said to the Lord, Lord, would you give me some insight? Would you give me what you gave Elisha? But if you give me insight and open my eyes to the spiritual things, you will blind the armies that surround America. You will blind the armies that surround Israel. You will blind the armies that surround Europe at this very moment. Is it possible But if he did it thousands of years ago, he can do it today again? Are you listening to me? The servant of Elisha came and he said, Look, there are... We are surrounded by an entire army. The problem was that Elisha alone had seen that those who are with us are greater than those who are against us. He couldn't see it alone. No prophet is able to see something by himself. He needs somebody else to see what he sees. Elijah, while he was on the mountain, told his servant to go and look for the cloud because he knew that he had heard the sound of an abundance of rain. But Elijah was incapable of releasing that rain without somebody seeing what he had heard. And so when the servant came back the seventh time and said, I see a cloud the size of a man's hand. He said, run for the, it shall multiply, it shall hasten. Are you seeing what I am hearing? I am hearing the sound of victory. I'm hearing the sound of a multitude of God's army that are preparing for a global awakening in the world right now. A move of the spirit that is unprecedented, has never been seen or felt ever before. If you believe it, wherever you are, lift your hands and say, yes! Yes! not because of our prayers gathering tens and hundreds of thousands all over the world every Saturday and Wednesday that Belgium was not kept from a, 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 a tremendous death or, or deaths I should say you may say what well, it was the intelligence it was not God is the voice of prophets throughout the earth and so when Elijah told the servant when you see it it shall happen I say to you today watching me if you can just catch a glimpse of insight to what I am telling you and what I'm about to tell you, that God has purposed to confound this enemy like no other, not like Al-Qaeda, not one of them, had ever been dealt with in the manner that God is going to deal with ISIS. Not only has ISIS come against God's people, but they have planned many other things in Canada. They are already present in the United States of America and in certain states. They are present in Belgium, in Germany. They are present in Turkey. They are present in all over the Europe as well. They are prepared for a huge battle. However, I, when I was praying, I said, the Lord, open my eyes like you opened the eyes of Elisha. Suddenly my eyes were opened and I saw it. I saw thousands of, of, of angels gathered to fight this fight. Do you really believe that God's going to leave us alone? Do you really believe that God's going to do nothing about this ter terrible attack that's come against our children, against the children and the future? They are not attacking the present. They are attacking the future. And when they attack the future, they are attacking Omega. When they attack the future, they are attacking the end, the last. They are attacking the one who is, who always will be, who has made a declaration that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Lift up your voice and give God a shout. Come on. of young men and women in the Middle East being raised up to be a voice crying out Yeshua I want you to know that walls are coming down today I want you to know that walls that are in your life are coming down today there are walls coming down in the nations of the earth God will not let this go God is going to rise up with the sound of victory because that's what he promised his church come on Elisha's servant said, Lord, uh, to Elisha said, Lord, look, we can, 
at all the, the armies, the army has surrounded us, how great a number they are. And Elisha stopped, and I'm going to pray that right now. And you are going to respond, every one of you. Because what is present today is destiny. You, death is not present in this den. In your house right now, death is not present. If it is, then you have allowed it in. The one thing that pleases God more than anything else is what? Faith. Unbelief is an insult to God. Fear is an insult to God. If you can catch a glimpse of the plan of God now, it will come into your home. It will fill the empty vessels with the oil that is necessary to clear you from debt and give you the freedom that God promised. Do you want that freedom? I can hear you shouting yes from all over the earth. I'm asking it for a reason. Somebody may be saying, well, of course we want freedom. What do you think? Then why do you believe the lies? Why are you acting out of fear? Yes, we must use our brains and our minds and our intelligence. But think for a minute. Where is the God of Elijah? Where is the God of the 1948 revival? Where is the God of the Azusa Street revival? Where is the God of the great moves that took place throughout the earth? Do you believe that he has left us with nothing? Elisha prayed this prayer and he said these words. Lord, open my servant's eyes. My prayer today, because we are going to do something, we're going to come to this altar and we're going to offer our offering and our prayer with insight, with faith, not with unbelief, because it's time. Did you hear what I just said? It's time. It's time to bring it to God and say, you have promised us that you would convert some of the most powerful members of ISIS and terror groups, nine of them that are still about to arise, that, have been, that will be dissatisfied with ISIS. Can you imagine young people being dissatisfied with what's happening now? That the spirit that has been released from hell itself upon young people, but does God sit back on his throne? Is he scratching his head saying, I wonder what I should do now? Do you really believe that God doesn't have a plan through his ecclesia? Do you really believe that God doesn't have a plan through Israel? He is, he is looking at Israel this very moment. And the enemies of God are looking as well. I want you to know that we are blessing Israel. And we're going to do it today. We're going to bless the Jews in Paris. We're going to bless the Jewish people that are being attacked so that they can get to their nation. This is what God told me to do. But I want you to do it with insight. And the servant's eyes were opened. Now hear me please. You can go and read it. You can go and read it in Second Kings chapter 6. Don't worry about that now. Just prepare yourself. We're not going to do anything else but this. Because it's, it's very powerful right now. Hannah's going to sing it. But before she does, you can hear me out. Canada will be protected. Colorado will be protected. New Mexico will be, be protected. You hear that states now. New York over and over and over will be protected. God will protect even Chicago, yeah. even though he sniffs at it and there is a stench, is what he said to me. He said he will even protect the capital. Sunil's so sitting back there waiting to rush out here to tell you how we, when we stood there, the prophecy came out from my mouth that God would protect the capital. Yeah. He's going to do it over and over again as long as you and I pray with insight and not with fear. We act out of faith and not fear and unbelief. If the enemy is doing so much, why would God sit and do nothing? No, he's not. He, there are conversions taking place. Nine groups will arise that will be dissatisfied with ISIS and they will even be worse. And they shall yet, they will not plunder the righteous of the Lord. They will not touch them. There will be a few deaths here and there, but what they are planning will not happen. Now, there are many other states that God told me about. He said, even the White House, even though I block my nose and want to spew them out of my mouth, the stench that has come from the White House. You hear what God just said? Even so because of my elect, even because of my elect will I protect, says the Lord. This is a very big prophetic alert. I want you to listen. Their names will be scrolled out. One, two, three, ten, twenty of them at a time as they are exposed. And one of the biggest leaders that has been in hiding shall cry out for help before the summer comes to this nation. They will say, how could he 
have fallen so strongly because you see God says I have put agents in their midst who will betray them and the betrayal shall hurt them so badly and pierce them so badly that they will cry out and scatter you got to, you've got to understand God has a plan have you seen it? Do you understand that he has young people that he's going to raise up? Your young people, your grandchildren, that he's going to raise up to be a voice in this nation and the nations of the earth. England, watch out. England, watch out. Watch out who you align yourself with. Russia has stretched its hand out and it has said to the clergy and to the religious, come, let us reason together. Let us join our hearts together. Pope Francis, watch out. Watch out what you say. Watch out what you do, for I'm watching you as well. Even though I promised life to you, watch out, for you are also, there is also a spirit of betrayal that exists and speaks into your ear. God is not pleased with religion, yet we see from Russia them stretching out their hand to shake. What shaking is this, says the Lord? I will not allow it, for God says, my church is praying and as long as my church prays there will be victory says the Lord come on Elisha says open his eyes Lord and suddenly the servant's eyes are open he sees all around Elisha. Was Elisha that special? No. It's what was in him that was special. The word. Yes. The living word. Angels surrounded Elisha. And the servant saw it. Listen to me carefully. When the servant saw what the prophet saw, the Lord struck the Syrians with blindness. Your enemy, our enemy, will be stricken with blindness when we receive insight and revelation outside of our natural realm of vision. I release the spirit of insight upon you now. I release the spirit of insight upon each one of you to see beyond your natural view, your natural circle, what is in front of you, what you've seen on the news. I break that and I release insight. And I say the words that Elisha said, those who are with us are greater than those who are against us. As I release that insight, I command that every enemy of each person that is watching be blinded right now and has no power whatsoever. Strike them with blindness, I pray, O oh Lord Jehovah. Oh Lord God, El Elyon, possessor of the heaven and possessor of earth. Come on! I want you to my arms So many beautiful things, but I think the best is you. You are the most beautiful things I've ever had in my life. I don't want to lose you. You feel what I'm feeling? I know you can feel it in your rooms, your bedrooms, your wherever you're sitting, your living rooms. I know you can feel it. I'm not making this up. I've been battle-worn and battle-weary this week, but it exploded out of me now and I have so much more and I am not afraid to say it. And I will. In the weeks coming, I will speak out what I see. I will even give you names because that's how close I'm getting to it. God spoke to me and said, what are you going to do for my people in France? What are you going to do for my people in Europe? I am commanding that you bless Israel in a very special way. It's time. I want every one of you watching me. I don't want one empty hand. I don't care if it's five or three dollars. I want you to come with an offering and I want you to say, God, as I give, I'm giving with insight. I'm giving with faith. I'm giving with what I've just seen, that there is a victory coming, that walls are going to come down. I'm giving knowing that those who are with us are greater than those who are against us. If you can do that today, every one of you, I guarantee you, that whatever enemy you are facing and whatever enemy has surrounded you will be blinded. What does that mean? They don't know where to go. Confusion in the camp. God blinded the Syrians to where the prophet could say, let me lead you to the right place and led them to the king of Israel. 
we will not spare them everybody pray with me every person watching all over the world pray this prayer with me now father of light I come before you with faith I come before you with insight and understanding and I will give my offering and I will sow with insight because I know that when I do this my enemy will be blinded now Lord as I pray this prayer with each one of your people I want everybody to just be still for just 30 seconds and pray and say to the Lord I'm gonna give with faith and my prayer is coming with it whatever your prayer is <coughs> you do it now with faith and insight remember insight blinds your enemy I can hear the cries of family. Where do we go? In French. you have help we will help you we give you our word that we will help you and we just a small group of people we will stand with you now father as your people give with insight and foresight and faith accept their offering and whatever they pray blind the enemy strike the enemy down with this as they give and pray at this moment now I want you to go ahead and do it it's a very sacred thing to me you know it's it's the most sacred thing to me when God displays his magnificence and excellence that we never come empty-handed that we say God what you promised I want in my home now go ahead there's a red link below your screen it's very easy to do and I want you to go there and I want you to go into it and to designate however you want to and there are many ways of doing it it's the easiest way you've purposed in your heart to do it it's time that God's watching you may be saying well I give to my church that's fine I'm nobody stopping you here is something so powerful God said if you give with insight you just received insight of God's divine intervention and protection that he would strike your enemy down that's in the word it's a spirit it's spiritual warfare with prophetic insight I bet a lot of you have never heard of that it means you don't have to waste your time with unnecessary warfare you have a word from God yes it's in here but it comes alive when he speaks it out and you sow into it state your prayer state the enemy that you want blinded when you give your offering now you hear the music you hear the praises our prayers our messages this is to help you we're not trying to do anything but get you educated in the things of present truth the things that are the prophetic things that many miss out on because all they ever hear is don't worry it's the end of the time end of time and you need to just sit back and wait we're not waiting remember something you can always do something that's been my teaching from the very time that I started the den was don't do nothing do something your five dollars means a lot and plus God waters that and blesses it and it multiplies there's a spirit of multiplication that's always present when there is prophecy don't ever forget that 
whenever there is prophecy, there is always multiplication. You don't believe it? Go and read your Bible. It's in your Bible. Whenever a prophet ended up somewhere, there was always... The passion of your love drives me crazy. always in abundance that's the rewards okay i've said enough i, I know that you 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 are giving so i'm going to ask hannah to sing that piece because i want them to actually sing it while we are one day i'm going to sit in this chair four over and then everybody's going to laugh at me <laughs> you know sometimes i come across as very loud and aggressive you know when you've been beaten down and you carry wounds in your physical body and in your in your life in your soul you don't it, it, something that comes out of it is either you can dwell on the pain or you can trans you can have a transmutation is the word where it's turned into passion where you are determined you came against me I'm not cowering, I'm not hiding away, I'm going to come back and get you. And that's how I teach my warriors. I believe in worshipping and praising. Maybe you don't care for our style, but we try and offer as much as we can. Ballads, faster, but you know there are times that the Spirit comes on me, and He says to me, I want you just to get in His face, the powers and forces of darkness. And I say to the Lord when he says that to me, but Lord, you know the repercussions, don't you? I have to live with those the next week. <laughs> and somehow he offers a grace to deal with that. It's not always easy. It affects Jane, it affects our children. And, but you know, we always emerge out of it with joy, knowing the end result. If you know the end result, it's easy to praise. You know, the, the old Zulus in South Africa, in Africa, taught us that lesson. They, before they went into some of the greatest battles, they would sing triumphantly, dance and stamp their feet. But we see it goes back thousands of years to where King Jehoshaphat was faced with three great armies. And they began to praise after a prophetic word was given. Please listen to what I'm saying to you. I spoke about getting in, gaining insight and then offering, praying, whatever. The prophet comes. If you don't know the story, it's in 2 Chronicles chapter 20. It's a great story, and I'm not here to preach that. But just to prove what I'm saying. Jehoshaphat fasts and prays and does all the right things to get rid of three nations that will overcome them. Without a doubt. But he prepares the people and he says, let's fast and pray. And so Jehoshaphat is going to be overcome. He does the right thing, he fasts, he prays, but they slept. Some of you have written in and said, you know, God's promised freedom and all this. And what about me and my house? Don't give up. Yeah. Don't give up. I'm hoarse from shouting that to you for five, six years. No, almost 10 years now. But many of you have caught it and you know the end. Jehoshaphat needed to know the end. Yeah. 
result before he could go into battle. And a prophet stands up in the midst of them before they do anything and says, they are going to be at such and such a place. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. For you shall not need to fight in this fight. Again, a prophet removes an unnecessary warfare by the prophetic word. I've just done that for you today. You know what he says? Sing. And they all start praising. And the enemies hear the praise. And as a result of it, fear strikes them. And God sets ambushments against them. This could be happening for you right now. Why should it only be for someone in the Old Testament? The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they are mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds. Bringing into captivity every thought and to the obedience of Christ. Understand this, that the biggest battle is right here. I'm freeing you from that today by telling you the end result. Yes, we know what the Bible says. We know that Christ will return. There will be a new earth and a new heavens. And this is fantastic. We heard that from Chuck Mister. It was beautiful. And it's truth I wanted you to hear. And I want you to go to the house of destiny and listen. If you're one of the most brilliant teachers in the world today, I gave to you. Just join the online community and become a member of the house of destiny. Houseofdestiny.com. It doesn't cost you anything. And you can get the finest of teachings. And even you become a partner, even finer. You get so much more. But Chuck Missler is there. And you're going to look. Find out about the end times. Find out about the rapture. Find out about these important truths about this day and age and look at what God's doing in Israel. But having said that, I know that I must go and help. And he, do, he believes that too, Chuck Missler. And all of them, still extend your hand to help. We're going to go into the battlefield knowing the end result. Not only the final result of Christ's return, but the final result of our battle. You have children that have gone astray. Is this the end? I said, is this the end? You have children that have gone astray. I said, is this the end? You have a business that is going down. Is this the end? So what am I supposed to do, Kim? Praise Him. Never stop thanking God. I go to my garden every morning. And the first thing that I say to Him is, thank you.